state-of-the-art in electronic equipment, obviously borrowed. And then of course, who is without their sounds? As you can see, this is a state of art. An early 1980s hi-fi with its beautiful stereophonic sound and its brilliant speakers. The council gas fire with its nice clean bars. And of course, every person likes their comfort. And which more comfortable could you get than this? The three piece suite with its double matching chairs. Great sum of money from age concern, of course. So that is the kitchen. Fully fitted kitchen. We're still waiting for the wall units to be delivered. We have a wide selection of magnets. And of course, every freezer is full. We're still waiting for the other half to arrive. As you can see, we're overwhelmed. We've got too much food in and cooks a lot, as you can very well see. And we bring ourselves into the cold storage. Obviously, we're still waiting for the wine to be delivered. We can see a wide selection of margarine and a jar of marmalade and last week's milk. Fully central heated, of course. As you can walk into the kitchen, you can smell the aroma of the socks drying on the radiator. And of course, the beautiful draped curtains, which matches the mustard colored wallpaper. And of course, we come to no home was without a woman in the kitchen with the state of the art cooker. And of course, it has four burners, which come on instantly. Well, as we say instantly, the uh, take about 10 minutes to warm up and then they smell a lot from the burnt chip pan the night before but of course it's dual it's a kitchen if you had any sense you'd eat out to the cubby where once stood a porcelain toilet from the Victorian ages obviously is the great stairway staircase you can see the Wilton carpet which is brand new a beautifully painted staircases master bedroom which obviously with its beautiful hanging curtains as you can see the bed without its four posters as you can see this is obviously a bedroom where one would want to die where you'd want to actually spend your last moments in a room like this. Centrally heated, of course, courtesy of uh, the Greenpeace shop. Bells to the bathroom. Now, this is a real shocker. As we walk ourselves into the beautifully false tiles on the wall, as we look around, you can see the porcelain toilet and the sink to match and, of course, the bath. A tub for two. You just about get one in there. A beautiful white tiles and the lovely towels from the Pueblo and Darlo. Boom. They call it the guest room because when you come as a guest, you never come back again. With beautifully hanging curtains straight to the floor. And of course, the early Elizabethan chest of drawers with its beautiful clear mirror. That says all about this room in one word. Take a look around you. Have you any clues? Who lives in a type of house like this?
this is the type of house where you can see it's got a woman's personal touch the washing which is rotting away in the corner gives that nice homely smell as we make our way back down through the stairs we're looking out the window on the south side of the building Obviously these masks on the wall save the fortune on a burglar alarm. Keep out the evil spirits. So, any clues who lives in a house like this? Well, we invite you next week to take the piss through the keyhole. Looking at the badass today! Yeah! Looking at the badass! Looking at the badass! You're looking at the badass! The house that Mandy built.
Smile, Kev. <laughs> Get that hammer. Fucking face. Smile, boy. Do you want a fucking bet, boy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>